Hey everybody, it's me, Angel Benton. I feel like I got a really big belch coming on. N no, damn. Uh, oh, there we go. Oh my God, thank goodness. Okay, hey everybody, it's me, Angel Benton. And it is time for another edition of Angel Sudsy Recap, where we delve into the world of daytime television and we do a few reality shows on the side. And one of those reality shows that we are doing is The Real Housewives of Auckland. But before we get into that, as you can see, I made it back home to Las Vegas. Yay! I start work in, I don't know, maybe half an hour. <laughs> so, um, everything is pretty much back to normal. So, I'm very excited that I did so well on the, the races. And I'm looking forward to the next race in November in Florida, the Wine and Dine. So, that'll be awesome. All right. So, let's just delve right into it. So, for the Housewives of Auckland... <sighs> Oh, God. Okay, so Julia, Julia, bless her heart. You know, she decided she wanted to invite the girls uh, clay pigeon shooting. And you know what was really funny was that, first of all, there were two things that were funny about that. The first one was that Anne, who's very much, you know, um, anti, you know, animals, was like, I mean, not anti-animals, <laughs> She's very pro animals, you know, she doesn't want to shoot because it's like, you know, shooting at a moving target is like shooting at a, an animal and she doesn't want to encourage that, you know, but this is also the same one who has like a billion furs. So that's, and then the other funny thing was that, um, um, the place where they went and did the, the clay shooting, it was right over a pond that had all these ducks and swans. And the ducks and swans were not phased at all. They were like, whatever. You know, they they know not to fly up during it. They know they're not, you know, they'll get shot. So they just are like, whatever. And they'll just swim around and do their thing. <laughs> it, was, it was hilarious. It was hilarious. Yeah, I enjoyed that a lot. Um, and, but the, here's the thing, Julia really, really was, the reason why she invited everyone, let's make, let's make it clear, was so that she could show off. Because she is, she's got three guns of her own, and she goes shooting on the regular. But the reality is that she's still not that good. And everybody else, she tied for third place with Angela, who, by the way, it was her first time picking up a gun. So, just saying. And not just that, but like it took, you know, Julia three tries before she hit it. Angela hit it first two tries. Boom, boom. I was like, and even Gilda was like, you go girl. That was, but then the three main ones, Gilda, Louise. Oh no, it was all four of them. All four of them did this big shootout at the end. It was I'm not going to lie, it was kind of badass because there were these four chicks with guns and they were just shooting their guns and, you know, it was pretty cool. But, um, you know, Gilda, of course, is like, yeah, I've shot an AK-47 and an F-16. Wow, okay. Oh, but here's the best part. So while they're at the... Um, the shooting or maybe they're at the dinner after the shooting because Michelle and Ann because they didn't want to shoot so they joined them afterwards so they went to the dinner right and at the dinner Angela takes this time to make this big grandiose statement saying I would like to invite you all to my book party because I'm writing my second book all about being real which <sighs> Even Louise was like, this totally sounds like an Angela thing. Like, it's very hippy-dippy, and I can't believe that this is an actual book, but okay, you know, I'll go. And then somebody asked Gilda, aren't you writing a book too? And Gilda's like, yes, it's my second book, and it's finished, and it's a, a comic for children age, um, ages around seven so that they can understand cosmology and astronomy and um, the planets. And, and Anne, was, Anne was blown away. She was like, you know, everyone thought that Gilda was just this little, you know, uppity socialite. But the reality is that she's actually incredibly intelligent. 
because she she's like you know Gilda was like this is really an important book for me because I really want to get a uh, cosmology into the minds of children so that they're not afraid of it when they get older I mean it was and, and she planned this party and she was great she was like I want flowers in the shape of the planets and I want them you know hung up and like I want red flowers for Mars and blue flowers for Earth, you know. So she was like, and the girls like, we can do that. We we got this. And this guy, she had some guy as the MC. I guess we'll see more of him next week because I, he didn't really do anything to impress me this week. But, um, you know, except tell a few naughty jokes. <sighs> Speaking of naughty jokes, when they were at the dinner, you know, Julia. You know, everything, you kind of see the age divide between Louise and Anne and the rest of the girls. I know that Anne chalks it up to money, but I don't. I, I, I actually don't. I think it actually has more to do with, with age because, you know, everything reminds Julia of sex. Everything, right? And the other girls sort of giggle and he he, you know, but Julie and Anne are mortified. Uh, not Julia, uh, Louise. Louise and Anne are absolutely mortified. They're like, I cannot believe. And Anne's like, Anne goes even further. She's like, yeah, that's, I didn't care for that at all. That's disgusting. and It's trashy. And it's like, oh, ooh, all right. Okay, girl, you better get it. All right. So... Needless to say, they, you know, she's. if I was going to have a, a sex toy party, I wouldn't invite Louise and Anne, right? Um, earlier in that day, uh, Anne had invited Julia to go... Actually, no, Julia sort of invited herself to go feeding her cats. And uh, this is another example of Julia just not knowing, not having any idea she gets involved in this and she's like what venues are we going to and she's like venues you mean feeding stations and she's like yes she's like well I like venues that sounds cool but um you know they're around the town so one of them was like on a cliff and and Julia was totally not dressed appropriately for feeding the pussycats at all at all I was dying because she was like visibly struggling with and she's like do I need my handbag and she's like no you don't need your purse we're feeding cats that's it I mean come on <laughs> poor Anne <laughs> but she put up with her and she's like you know what and Julia did try really hard so kudos to you Julia that was that was an interesting predicament you got yourself into you know my girl Leah the French PA, she was only in the show for like a, a very a smidge amount of time this week because she did, they just showed Angela doing her photo shoot for her, her real book. And, you know, they were, and this is how you know that Angela is crazy, right? Is that, you know, she's not malicious crazy. She's not a malicious wackadoodle, but she is definitely off is that just look at her face when she's talking, not just to the other housewives. If she was just talking to the other housewives, this way you'd think, okay, either she's putting it on for show or, you know, is it an act or maybe she just doesn't get along with these women. No, she's like this with everybody, you know. She's like that with Leah. She, and then the photographer is taking her pictures and she's like, what are you really here for? What is your, not, not asking the photographer, but asking rhetorically, what are you here for? What are you saying? What do you want to present to the world? Oh my God, I was dying. I'm like, you're presenting to the world that you're fucking nuts. I'm just saying. But having said that, I do kind of want to read this real book to see what it's like to be real. Maybe I've been fake my whole life and I want to be real. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, that's, that it's definitely, <laughs> I need to, yeah, I should look up Angela's books. Actually, I wonder if I can get them on Amazon because if I can get them on Amazon, then I can, I can read them and tell you how it's been and how it is. That's not a bad idea. Okay. Mental note. All right. So next week we're going to see how things go. I guess we see a more of Angela's home relationship and, you know, apparently she's having some issues, some rocky patches, you know, you know, same old shit with any housewife series in any city, right? And apparently, you know, they're, you know, having, I mean, I don't know, who knows, but we'll find that out next week. And Gilda's party is also next week as well. So we'll see how everything goes. 
Anyways, thank you so much for logging on today. I do appreciate it. Please feel free to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Angel Benton. You can hashtag R-H-O-A-K-L or Real Housewife shit to talk to Real Housewives of Auckland. Or you can also hashtag Bold and Beautiful to talk to Bold and the Beautiful, which I'll be doing later tonight. Um, and please feel free to hit that subscribe button on my YouTube channel to get my YouTube videos sent to your inbox every single day. Thank you so much for logging on today, everyone. Have a great day. Peace out. Wubba, wubba, wubba.